NBC's Chuck Todd joins me live from Washington, D.C. tonight. Chuck, we haven't even hit summer yet, but there are so many names being thrown around. What's going on this year? Well, I can tell you this, and you certainly can't put it all on one screen. We're, we're probably going to be as high as 18 candidates come mid-July that are actually announced that have resumes that you wouldn't laugh at when it comes to running for president. Uh, it's a ton, a uh, ton of folks. Look, there's a lot of reasons I think, particularly why the Republican field is so large. Part of it is that none of the big front runners are scaring ever anybody out of the race. Jeb Bush or Scott Walker. You have the idea that Republicans think it's quote unquote their turn to win the White House. So for many of these guys, this is a last shot. And then there's sort of the reality TV factor and how the way social media and cable television covers presidential politics. There's almost an incentive to get in and be part of the reality show. Uh, even if you're at one percent, because you think you you might get famous enough to get a book deal or to get paid speaking gigs. I don't think that Bernie Sanders falls in that category. He seemed very serious when he announced no. his candidacy this week. Uh, but you're up on this uh, this essay or column that has surfaced. Does this hurt yeah. a guy who is already perceived to be somewhat on the fringe? You know, I do think it hurts uh, a little bit. Um, and I've been listening to your coverage of it, and you guys are are, are you know, and their reaction to it. Uh, you know, you read it, it doesn't read like satire. Um, it certainly reads, it's uncomfortable to read, to be honest. Um, and I, I think the, the biggest fear for Bernie Sanders is just when he was sort of making the mainstream turn here. Um, many Democrats, even the Clinton campaign, quietly starting to get a little bit nervous about the progress that Sanders is making in states like Iowa and New Hampshire. Uh, this is the type of thing that, that could give activists pause, and particularly in a place like New Hampshire. So um, I think the timing of it is not good for Sanders. And, uh, I, you know, their, their belief that this comes from a political opponent, um, I, I, it's, it's probably right. Um, uh, but the, the article itself, I think it is hard to explain away. So if it, if it was planted by a political opponent, is anybody, uh, I, I think it's surprising that somebody is that threatened by Bernie Sanders at this point. Well, because here's the thing, if you're Hillary Clinton, and the thing about watching the Sanders candidacy here, um, I've been making, and this is going to, I'm going to go way back in a reference, Eugene McCarthy was sort of the progressive hero to many in the 60s. Nobody thought he could be the nominee when he ran against Lyndon Johnson, but he did well enough to make Lyndon Johnson look vulnerable, and it got other Democrats interested. It drove Johnson out of the race. Sanders has enough of a following in the progressive community. Does, does he end up doing so well in an Iowa or New Hampshire that, it, that suddenly Democrats wake up and say, boy, if she's struggling against him, maybe other Democrats type, uh, start to jump in or they start raising doubts about her. And I think that's what has some Clinton supporters nervous about Sanders. They don't fear that he can beat her. They fear that he does well enough to make her look more vulnerable. And that is Chuck Todd. And again, Chuck Todd's among his guests this Sunday will be Bernie Sanders. Thank you, Chuck. Great to hear from you. And again, Todd will have presidential hopefuls Bernie Sanders, John Kasich, and Rick Santorum on Meet the Press Sunday. You can watch that Sunday morning at 9 right here on WPTZ.